Welcome back to the program. Lou and Jackie here. Good morning. Once you realize we love bringing the funny to you every Friday, but I'm going to bring the funny to you a little bit early because there's going to be somebody coming to town that's bringing the funny personally to Des Moines. Absolutely. We have so many wonderful theaters around our area that bring in some incredible talent and Hoyt Sherman Place being one of our favorites yeah. is bringing in a gentleman known as Chad Prather who is huge <laughs> online and huge right now on Skype with us uh, this morning, uh, part of the Star Spangled banter tour. Uh, good morning, Chad. How are you doing? I'm well. Good morning. How are you guys? Great. Okay, so tell everybody where you're at right now because we know you're going to be here in Des Moines <laughs> tomorrow. I, I am in a rare place. I'm at home. <laughs> I'm, at home. I'm, I, I'm in my home office here and uh, looking forward to coming to, to Des Moines, though. It's going to be an exciting weekend. Now, tell everybody where you're from. I, they can probably tell from your accent you're not from around uh, our part. So where are you from exactly? Mm -hmm. No, I, I uh, I'm from Fort Worth, Texas, and so uh, I I have a I have a very thick Southern accent because I grew up in the state of Georgia, but so my accent is now muted because otherwise you wouldn't understand me. I would just have to speak the song of my people, and only you know the people that are now about to deal with Hurricane Florence would they'd come out and understand what I'm saying. So uh, yeah. It's a, so yeah, you're it multilingual. Sounds, yeah. yeah, it sounds like you need to say yeah. get out. <laughs> I, I, I've had to tell a lot of people. I'm like, what are you? What are you guys thinking? They're like, oh, we're just gonna ride it out. And I said, you're gonna ride it over into Tennessee because that's where it's gonna take you. <laughs> you need to get out of there. I mean, it's it's a bad deal. But no, I I grew up in the deep south, and we do we say fixin' to and y'all and gonna and all these other strange colloquialisms that are there. So, uh, but no, I. Um, I, I'm here in Fort Worth, Texas, and we're getting ready to head to Iowa tomorrow. Absolutely. Now, you're known as the political cowboy or very popular on social media, YouTube, uh, millions of views, actually. But in case people haven't seen you before, tell us a little bit about what you're all about and why you're excited to come to uh, Hoyt Sherman Place here in Des Moines. You bet. I uh, a couple of years ago, I was doing a television show, and I'd, I'd sit in traffic, and, and I'd be bored, so I'd just pop my camera phone up on the dashboard of my truck and start talking to it and put it out there on social media, <laughs> just whatever my thoughts were. And for me, it was therapy. My wife used to tell me all the time I was crazy, and I probably am. She'd tell me that I needed to go speak to somebody, and I said, I got a cheaper way to do it. So we just put it out there. I had no idea millions of people were going to be watching these things. And so, uh, so many people were watching. A couple of years ago, we decided to take the show on the road, and we started doing a live comedy show in theaters across America, and it's been fantastically successful. And we, um, we, um, you know, we, we, it's been a blessing. A lot of people ask us, is it a political show? It's really not. It's an American show about American culture and American life, and we, it's a good, funny, funny show. People have a great time when they come. You're talking about your social media views and your video views. Uh, we understand it actually uh, topped the one billion uh, dollar, or one billion mark, I should say, of video views. That's an impressive number, and, and you don't achieve that very often, so you are obviously a strike in a familiar chord with a lot of people. It's strange, you know, I, I've had people who have who've referred to me a lot in a lot of ways, you know, a, a, a modern day Will Rogers or, or somebody of that nature. I'm really an observational humorist. I, I'm a storyteller. And, you know, I, I, it really resonates well throughout uh, middle America, you know, blue collar, Rust Belt, Bible Belt America, outside of that L.A. and New York bubble. And so when I come into the Midwest and, and places like that, folks really seem to respond to it. And it's, it's, it's a language that they understand. And it's something they speak and they deal with and uh, unfortunately it seems like Hollywood and in places uh, that you know are putting out television entertainment these days seem to have forgotten that or at least they feel forgotten in many ways and so it's definitely a type of humor that, that America responds to so uh, tell everybody what they can experience uh, I know you mentioned music you love telling stories things like that when we come out to Hoyt Sherman place tomorrow night oh what are people going to experience they're going to walk in the door, they're going to sit down, and they're going to start laughing, and they're going to do it for like an hour and a half, and they just can't quit, and then they're going to go home and tell all their friends about it. No, it's, it's, a, it's a fun story. You're gonna, it's, it's, it, you know, if I've got a wife, three dogs, a cat, five kids. If I can't find some humor in that, I, then I, there's something wrong with me. So we go out and we talk about things that we experience and we enjoy in America that folks, a lot of times, they don't experience in the rest of the world, and it's very unique to us and everybody can relate to it. They are going to have some laughs. They're going to have a big time, and I encourage folks to bring their friends, bring their family. It'll be a great night out in Des Moines on a Friday night, and you know what? The show starts reasonably early, so you'll get out of there and still get to go have even more uh, fun on a Friday night in Des Moines. I know I plan to. <laughs> I mean, I, 
I, I got to fly to Dubuque the next day at 4 a.m. But I'll fit the fun in, guaranteed. All right, well, absolutely. And, and, well if you want to fit the fun in, we'll have to try to get a, a pickup truck for you too, because uh, that, that's what you're, you're you're known for your truck. Tell everybody about your truck. What's yeah, your, 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 a very special truck. What kind of truck do you have? I drive a Chevrolet truck. I do. I drive a Chevy truck. My dog, Willie, is usually in the back seat. And, folks, I can go into public because people don't recognize me unless they see me in the context of a pickup truck. I, I can be completely, completely incognito. A billion and a half views on social media, and people still don't recognize me in the airport. It's great. I, I love it. Now, I know you're known for your stories or your rants that you do in your truck, but I, I understand you were on stage when you were just a, a little thing way back in the day. Is that where you caught the bug to be on stage? I know. My mother made me. <laughs> <laughs> it's your mom's fault, huh? <laughs> yeah, I was actually on, I was on television right at the age of two to three, right when I learned how to talk and I'd memorized a, a Bible story record. And so they had me on reciting the story of David and Goliath. But I did grow up. I was an athlete, but I also spent a lot of time on the stage. I was on television for a bit. I had a radio show and. uh and then this new, new, new thing called social media came along, and I thought, well, hey, that's like giving me my own television network right there. I can put whatever I want on it. And, and fortunately, I found a voice and a perspective. I call it, I call it, you know, I take a little bit of common sense, wrap it in humor, and make it an easier pill to swallow. And people, it's resonated with them, and they've enjoyed that perspective. In fact, I probably got to go get in the truck this morning and put out a new video. Hey, uh, my yeah. life. How often do you do the videos? <laughs> I try to put one or two out a week. Uh, you know, my travel schedule is such, we do about 90 of these shows a year across the country. And uh, I have to really squeeze in the time. You know, every now and then I'll have friends who'll say, could you send us a video with wishing my parents a happy anniversary or my daughter a happy birthday? And I'm like, please, God, don't make me get back in that truck. And, and <laughs> say another thing, you know, because it's, uh, it, you know, I got I to put the dog in the back seat and all of these things. And I'll tell you what, I added Willie, my dog, I, I added him to the deal about a year ago. And, and, and he's been a great addition. People don't watch for me anymore. They watch for the dog. <laughs> what what kind of dog is Willie, if people haven't seen it. Willie is what we call a Western Shepherd. So he's a mix of German, Belgian, Melanois, and uh, a lot of other little fun things. He's very fast, but he's the beautiful thing about Willie is he's a shepherd that doesn't shed. And so anybody that has shepherds, they know how significant that is because you can brush your German Shepherd and pull a Chihuahua out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so what's on the top of mind today? If you're going to be heading out to your truck and shooting a video uh, with Willie, what, what do you, what's on the top of your mind today? I read an article yesterday about some folks who, who have gone into the clinic. This this new vampire facial treatment, I don't know if you've seen that, where they use blood to put it on their skin. And now these people are getting apparently a, a potential for hepatitis and HIV oh, and all of these crazy things oh, that are geez. terrible. But but these people are getting infections from, from putting blood on themselves. And I'm like, this is the world we live in. And, and uh, that some of the crazy things that people are doing in order to make themselves uh, more beautiful. And uh, hey, just kill, be, you'll be beautiful. I mean, you might kill yourself for it, but you'll be beautiful. You'll yeah. look great. You'll make a great looking corpse. I'd say you look good in your coffin, right? And your casket. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, fortunately, that uh, fad hasn't made its way up to uh, <laughs> central Iowa just yet. But looking forward to that video coming out. If people want to follow along and watch your videos, I know you also have a website out there. Uh, where, where should people go to learn more? People can find me at watchchad.com or chadprather.com for my tour schedule, but they can also, uh, they can find me on uh, um, my podcast, The Chad Prather Show for Podcast One. And, but on Facebook, if you just search Chad Prather, I'm going to pop up. I'm an incredible <laughs> time waster, so be careful. But my, my Facebook page is Watch Chad Prather, and there's nothing vain about that. Uh, that's our new Facebook watch page. And so that's where we're putting all the videos these days. Wonderful. Well, uh, you are coming to one of the most beautiful theaters you have ever played by coming here to uh, Des Moines, Iowa tomorrow. So we're looking forward to that. Folks, if you want more details or to get your tickets because they're going very quickly, you need to head over to HoytSherman.org. Uh, Chad is going to be in town and he is performing at 8 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, tickets as low as 30 bucks. How about that? You're not going to, you want to miss this one here and there's no bad seat in the house. Absolutely. When you're laughing, uh, anywhere is a good seat. That okay. sounds very mm -hmm. good. Chad, thank you so much for joining us this morning on CWI Will Live. Thank you. All right, buddy. There you go. So how cool is that? Uh, it's, it's one of the, again, more than a billion views on social media. That's an impressive number. It blows my mind. Well, it's, yeah. it means he's talking about things people can relate yes, to no uh, question while about laughing it. at the same time, which is something we could all use in our lives. You're